All right. Hello, Robbie Wong here, risking my wild card so you don't have to. We are playing Heliod Suncrowned because even when you try to lose with this deck, this deck will throw you over the finish line whether you want to or not. I am joined by my co-host. This is Winston Wong. And uh, we've done some tweaking. Uh, some of it is for efficiency. Some of it is for sweetness. So uh, Baneslayer Angel is now joining us. Uh, flying and first strike and lifelink, very scary. We also put in altar of the pantheon because we have a god on tap. Just, we have three mana. Go ahead and play Heliod, and now we have uh, we have a repeatable way to gain life with it. Uh, that's also hard to uh, destroy. <laughs> also, uh, not that you want to be results based, but we were kind of mana screwed, so it it, <laughs> last game would have been nice. And we did one more thing. Yeah, we we uh, Winston noticed that I, I put in Hushbringer because of the evasion and the lifelink. But we noticed that there was some tension between Daxos, Impassioned Orator, and uh, Hushbringer. So we swapped that for Speaker of the Heavens, which I was looking for more one-drops. Because if, if you look at the deck from, like, if the one-drops are supposed to be one group of cards there's really only six of them right now so i also think that the ability could be relevant oh he, there's an angel one more angel <laughs> yeah that's a, a third angel uh but the but outside of those adjustments nothing too serious so as we're playing it, speaker of the heavens was a hush bringer so if, if we if we we can compare as we play an altar was supposed to be Dawn of Hope, because or no, Baneslayer Angel came in because uh, instead of Dawn of Hope, and uh, the artifact that brings cards back from the dead from Core Twenty One that got replaced. Uh, uh, Idol of Endurance. Yeah. So Winston, I realized that if I went into the deck editor from the play thing, it saves me a couple mouse clicks. <laughs> yes, it does. So, I didn't know you weren't doing that. We were. I, we were I, I, you saw me. <laughs> I wasn't. Look, I'm on a slight lag. The video is kind of choppy. <laughs> We've got all the production here in Wang Corporation. Wang Corporation. So funny story. My parents always said Wang, but I don't think they noticed while we were growing up. So I thought it was Wang for a long time. And finally asked my dad, is it Wang or Wong? And he goes, Wong. Everybody calls me Wong. And then I said, nobody calls you Wong. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I think this is a fantastic hand for a couple of reasons. Number one, we have a one drop. We have we could play this as a two drop. Uh, and then we have a three drop. And Angel of Vitality is insane in Commander in your opening hands. This is kind of like a mold of six. So we're gonna yeah. we're gonna ignore Good. this, but we've got lands and we've got a great curve. Yeah, because the opponent is playing Basri Ket, who is also mono white, and that's we have Basri in our deck. Uh, he's one double white legendary planes walker. Basri comes in with three loyalty, plus one. Put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target creature. It gains indestructible until end of turn. Minus two. Whenever one or more creatures attack this turn, create that many 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens that are tapped and attacking. And minus six, you get an emblem at the beginning of your combat on your turn. Create a 1-1 one, one so white soldier token. Then put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. That ultimate will end games. Just overrun your opponent. Not overrun, as in the plus three, plus three trample, but... First strike. Stone Coil Serpent also not good in this matchup. Okay, we're gonna angel so if they Basri, they they will they will be they will not be happy with the results. Yeah. This is four to activate, one less for each legendary creature and or planeswalker we control. Okay. I didn't know that little last last bit. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I like. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, golly. Okay. 
lots of choices here. Uh, one, two, three. So it's not quite. This is not quite a creature yet. If we play this, we can buff up Angel and Stone Coil. And Stone Coil can block Healer's Hawk, so it's not repeated. I think it's. I think it's B resource efficient here. Yeah. I mean, he's going to have two indestructible creatures next turn if he plays Basri. I'm going to go ahead and swing in. Oh, With opponent. your ancient. Oh, opponent, you shouldn't do that. I disagree with that block. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe he's not planning on playing Basri. Maybe he's planning to do a board wipe. I guess that's possible. Right? If it's a board wipe that's coming, then getting rid of saving the life is relevant. That seems a little loose to play a board wipe in your in your white weenie deck. Well, break glass, break glass in case of emergency, right? I guess. Oh, Look, I don't know why they blocked. I'm just saying that's one reason they might. What? Uh. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay. Seems seems loose. They, uh, they know I have this, and now I can swing with the unity and get a bunch of. Okay, whatever. Angel lifelink. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh. Thank you, Winston. Thank you. I hit space bar, but it didn't register. <laughs> and then you said something. Uh, let's make this a three. Uh, let's make this a four five. Let's make this a six six. That's a good one. That's a good one. Can I do this? I need to have seven more. I'm sure. I'm short. This has first strike, and I can make him discard a card. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep this around. Yeah. Although there's, I, no, no, that's gone. That's gone. Basri, buddy, old pal. Okay, so if we hanged executioner or Basri, we get Heliod back online. I think it's yep. Basri and start ticking up while I have a big wall of disgusting. Yes. Okay. Next. Next thought is if I give something plus one, plus one an indestructible, like this, I can gain life and put a counter on Basri, so it's it's less conducive to attacking because they're going to lose yes. two. Okay. Oh, wait. wait. You can't put a counter on Basri. I can, I can put a counter on, like, Golem or Speaker, make it yes, indestructible. Can, yes, yes, yes. Okay, what do you think about putting it on the golem? Give it life link. Sure. Just use our use our mana. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My sand will protect you. And then I want to put this, this is going to survive. I want to put this on Heliod, so if they attack with Cavalier, I get to, I get to eat it. Yeah. Yep, yep. So they'll probably have a removal spell, and then you won't have devotion anymore. You are a 
We succeed or fail as one. Oh, they're um, gonna give. Oh no, nope, they're just gonna concede. Yeah. So we were talking about the opening hand, right? So that was that was basically a mole to six. Mm -hmm. S seeing this card rot in my hand hurt my soul. Uh, other thought, hanged executioner. The, the evasion is so good in these mirrors. This doesn't have reach, right? No. Yeah. So. Our, our next strategy would have been play a Hanged Executioner, pump it up with plus one, plus one, and, and life link, and make this big, and uh, attack yep. down. Our board is really big. Um, uh, I don't know if we were ever going to get to this point, but if, if we... Did I miss a chance to activate this? No. Okay. I need, I need to you watch... Were never, you were never at 32. If I attacked with Basri, they could have double blocked, but then I would have had enough life to do the angel thing. Eh, okay. Well, uh, I'm Robbie Wong. And this is Winston Wong. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys next time.